reporting live from Troy Hill, Sheldon Ingram, Channel 4 Action News. All right, Sheldon, this just in tonight. A big change just announced for the Pennsylvania Lottery. Paul Van Osdal, this is significant as the lottery is now going private. That's right, Wendy. Governor Tom Corbett has cut a deal with a British company to run the $3.5 billion Pennsylvania Lottery. State Revenue Secretary Daniel Muser told lottery employees a contract has been awarded to Camelot Global Services. Camelot has promised $34 billion in lottery profits over the next 20 years to fund programs for the elderly. But the deal has been controversial. The union representing state lottery employees is filing suit to block the agreement, as well as filing a grievance and an unfair labor practice charge. And the plan has other challengers as well. House Minority Leader Frank Dermody, Senator Matt Smith, and Pennsylvania Democratic Party Chairman Jim Byrne all spoke out against the proposal today. We have the, the best well-run uh, lottery in the country. It set record profits last year. Uh, they are doing, they have the lowest overhead in the country. They are doing a tremendous job running this lottery right now, and there is no need to jeopardize senior programs for one private corporation from England. On Monday, the Senate Finance Committee will hold a hearing on lottery privatization. Pennsylvania now becomes the third state to privatize its state lottery.